Hello drummers, Rob Licken here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this full video song lesson for my online members over at the website. This song was suggested over on my Facebook page, so today I'm very happy to be able to teach you Sign of the Times by Harry Styles, drummed by Mitch Rowland. Now, 60 BPM is a very, very slow tempo. So take any of these bars on their own and nothing really complicated is going on. There's a lot of linear stuff where you're lining up hands and feet in a line of notes, but it's the tempo that, that allows you to be able to play these relatively comfortable. What makes this an advanced lesson is the fact that it goes on throughout the entire song from start to finish. So to play the entire piece in one go will require some concentration and some pretty good reading skills as well. So we start as we mean to go on uh, when the drums finally enter at 1 minute 18 with Mitch um, playing a triplet drum fill. Now, I, I just said at the beginning that it was very hard to hear exactly the tones of the toms being used. I've done my best to sort of, um, uh, when you hear like an obvious going down in pitch, you go down in pitch. But when it comes to like just two toms being used, it could be those two toms, it could be those two toms. So feel free to sort of improvise with that a little bit and don't feel so um, rigid that you have to use um, the toms I've, I've notated. If they're going down, then go down, but choose the toms that you want to use. So I'll be using these three toms. Start on the highest tom. We come in with this triplet idea on beat three. One and two and three titter and ta. So we've got a little set of triplets there, three titter, just those first three notes. Then we go into normal 16th notes. Three titter and da. And I've used the sticking right, left, right, left, left because your right hand is then going to move down to your next lowest tom. Three to ta and uh, and then we get four E and a one. Our first example of that linear idea where uh, Mitch is mixing up the hands with the bass drum foot and the hi-hat foot. Four E and a one. So we get one and two and three to ta and uh, four E and a one. Ba ba da ba 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 boom boom. We then go into our first groove where we're up on the right cymbal in fact, we're up on the right for most of the song apart from those quiet verses. Um, and um, it was kind of hard to hear uh, precisely where these extra crash cymbals were falling. It could have been sometimes the hits were just um, Mitch playing the right cymbal on the edge a bit harder. Um, so what I've done is I've included what I think are the obvious crash cymbals. But feel free also to improvise with that as well because it doesn't seem to be any sort of pattern that Mitch sticks to where he's crashing the cymbal sometimes on beat two and sometimes on beat four and sometimes both. Um, so feel free to, to mess around with that as well. But for the first bar, what I'm hearing is one and two and three and four and. So the crash is there on one, two and on beat four. 